Legacy Cash Wave Bound. Introducing first, Fighting of the Blue Corner, weighing in under 63 kgs. Legacy 8, and this is your MMA prelims. Your opening bout of the evening is a catchweight bout at 63 kgs. In the blue corner, we have SPG Dublin 24, Joe Jordan taking on Waterford Rhino, Dave Phelan in the blue corner. And we're underway. Phelan just reaching out and testing Jordan, a low kick already. The referee just calls time, and Dave Phelan will have five minutes here. It's one thing you see, a lot of fighters, they rush to five minutes. You've plenty of time, make sure you're all right. Just settle in, you do have the five minutes. A lot of fighters rush back and it can be a mistake, but a lot of bout has just started. Allow yourself to settle back in. So, of course, it was accidental. Johnny Shields just having a quick word with Joe Jordan just to tell him to watch his tools. And we're back on their way. And Jordan just looks to close the distance. Nice knees on the inside there by Dave Phelan and... Jordan just looking to get in on a double here. Doesn't have his hands connected up against the cage and a wide sprawl by Dave Feeling. Looking for a Kimura grip as well. Again, the Kimura grip might, it might necessarily be going for the submission, but allow him to twist and get out of there. He lets it go after landing a few successful shots. Jordan just head position up against the chest of Dave Feeling, trying to keep the pressure, but excellent work. I like that work there by Dave Feeling. Just peppering shots on Jordan, not allowing him to be comfortable in this position. And it's almost like just a battle of where the fight takes place here. An important first battle of the fight. Just under the neck of Jordan pulling the head up, not allowing Joe Jordan to change distance. Of course, both fighters here might get an adrenaline dump or the excitement, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle it, both making their MMA debuts this evening. And good, good work by Phelan on the inside. He's constantly staying active, peppering shots, and this time it's, it's knees he's thrown to the body of Joe Jordan. And Jordan is working hard to try to get position here, but so far, every move he's done, Dave Phelan is on it. And that knee almost looked on the, the grind again of Jordan. He drags him to the ground, and Jordan is persistent in his takedown here. Can he get He's got to be careful of the back there, Dave Phelan. Came aware of it and changed his position. And of course you want no better man in your corner than the hooligan, Paddy Hoolahan in the corner there of Joe Jordan. He'd have been in many positions like this, so no better man to give you advice. Nice knee, and that was on the grind, and the referee... It was a bit of a slow stop on that, but it did look like it was on the guards. You could hear the clap of it, and again, it's just the momentum, and it's... It's just the excitement, and Joe Jordan in the corner. Johnny should pay attention, just move him across to a neutral corner. And again, he's just warning, telling him to watch what he's doing, to pick your target. And again here, Dave Phelan, take your time. You're five minutes. There's no rush. An awful lot of pressure when you're in an arena. The arena tends to go silent when there's one of these shots. Unless, of course, there's a replay and the whole crowd ooze. But that's two in the opening round. So Dave should take his time here. Not be rushed into it. And Johnny Shields, very experienced referee, not putting pressure. On Dave Phelan. Phelan just looking at those corners. It's a bit weird, both corners. The silence in the room, you can hear both corners just giving advice to their fighters. For plenty of time, Dave Phelan gives Johnny Shields a nod to say, yeah, I'm good to go. And it gets him out of that position. Joe Jordan was working very hard for the takedown. you got to give it to Phelan. He didn't give it up. Both fighters reach it in, and a nice left hand, and it throws Jordan and looks for the guillotine, possibly. It's an arm in. Jordan is just going to work his way around, and he's in on a single at the minute. He's just got to pay attention to that neck. 
He's going to try drag Dayfield away in the cage and feeling using a strong overhook to try and stand. He's back up on his feet. Excellent work by Dave Phelan, but Jordan trying to drag him back down. Excellent strength shown by Dave on his feet there, Dave Phelan. Excellent balance by the team Rhino man, and Jordan again in, trying to get on the double. He's moved to a single now. An exhausting part of MMA, trying to get that takedown, and with no reward, it's a lot of energy spent, but you gotta say, Joe Jordan, the fight has taken place where he wants it. He's been pushing Dave Phelan up against the cage, but Dave Phelan done it very well not to be taken down, and when he was taken down, he sprung back up. An interesting round, but a tough round as well for Dave Phelan. He took two fouls in that round. A grinding opening round there in a catchweight bout, 63 kgs. Dave Phelan, Joe Jordan. Grinding Jordan was working for the takedown, and Dave Phelan spent a lot of that time defending the takedown. Must say he done it very well. Also took two strikes to the grind. That Good check there as well by Dave Phelan. Jordan coming out, throwing the leg kick. He's done that. Seems to be his way that he gets in. Joe Jordan just keeping his hands up and peppering the jab. And Nice combination and high kicks there by Dave Phelan. Dave Phelan opened up a little. Jordan just plenty of head movement coming in, but nicely timed that time by Dave Phelan. Combination finished with a kick. And Joe Jordan just want to be careful. He just reached out a little bit there and left himself open for a counter this occasion. It wasn't picked up on. You can see Dave Phelan is now sort of taking over the center of the cage. Both fighters just having a look at what each other is throwing. Phelan starting to utilize them kicks well. Sort of has Joe Jordan guess, guessing now. And Jordan dives in and tries to get the takedown, but again, excellent takedown defense by Dave Phelan. Corner call in front to use that wizard. Joe just trying to muscle his takedown. He's working hard for it. Hard knees to the thigh as well of Dave Phelan. Looks for the trip, but it's Dave Phelan who lands on top. Joe Jordan just went for a trip and Phelan lands beautifully into half guard. He's strong grip on the head, maybe looking for the head and arm triangle. Good recovery there though by Joe Jordan to get it back to full guard. Let's see what Joe Jordan can offer from his back. He's pushing the feet on both hips, trying to shrimp away, create distance, maybe chest, turn them hips, look for an arm. Feeling just staying heavy, clamping down, putting that chin, or just head under the chin of Jordan, making it uncomfortable. See what he can offer here. and You can just see Joe Jordan trying to turn onto his hips, maybe look for a Kimura grip. Feeling just burying the head and slowly working up and good pressure drops for the leg lock. Very familiar with Team Rhino leg locks, of course. That one better than Paul Redmond, but Dave Feeling shows it's not just Paul Redmond that can do it and gets the top in the second round. Beautiful submission by Dave Feeling. Defended the takedown beautifully throughout the opening rounds when it went to the ground, got in the dominant position, utilizing, capitalizing, gets the top in round two. Dave Feeling. <laughs> Thank you.